Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be doing a t-test for two samples, so two dependent sample means using IBM SPSS. So we're going to be doing the dependent pair sample. Now keep in mind that the dependent samples are done for two samples that are related, dependent on each other, or it's done on the same patient or the same person or the same object before and after a certain test is done. So here we have the data set that I prepared for eight patients or objects and we measured their jump heights before or after using certain equipment. So we're going to be doing the PERT sample test to see if there is an improvement after using this equipment. Similar to the other t-test, we have to go to the analyze, compare means, and PERT samples t-test. When we select that, we get the paired sample t-test window and you can see here that it tells you we have a paired variable and you have to choose the first and the second variable. So I'm going to choose the before as the first variable and the after as the second variable. So we have before and after. Next step as in every test, make sure you have the right uh, significance level. For this particular test, just to change, I'm going to make sure to change it to 90 because we want 10% significance level instead of 5%. So 10% significance level means the confidence interval should be 90%. Click Continue and click OK. Now we get similar output to the other test. It gives us the information for the before and after, how many values we have, they should be the same because it's the same object, the means for the before and after, standard deviations and standard error of the mean, it gives us some correlation information here, it's going to discuss is the correlation regression, and this here is the information that we are interested in, okay, so the mean for the before and after, that's the D, that's the standard deviation for the D, before minus after. Okay. So this mean here is not for the before or after, it's for the differences between them as we called it t. This is the t value minus 2.33 and same idea that's the significant two-tailed or the p value. So keep in mind as we mentioned in other videos that depending on what kind of hypothesis test you're doing we can use the t-value and compare it to the critical value to the left or right depending on if it's left, right or two-tailed test or we can take the p-value and compare it to alpha just make sure that for the p-value if it's a one-tail again divide the p-value by two before you compare it to alpha so looking at the t-value or the p-value you make a decision whether to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis and you make the decision based on that. So similar to the other test, t value is here, t value is here, and this is the confidence interval for the differences. This is the information for each value. Thank you for watching and look for other videos on how we do stuff in SPSS 26.